Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Eliezer Ben Yehuda in that language he came up with. That is a man-made language. Islam is a man-made tradition. Catholicism is a man-made tradition. Christianity is a man-made tradition. These things God said don't deal with them. Because if you continue to deal with them, you're going to have childlike mindsets. That's right. You're going to have childlike behavior. I want, you to, I want you to listen to this, Al, because what took place, we need to know these things in order for us to get to our uh, rightful place on the earth again. Uh, you understand that? In order for us to be put back in our rightful positions on the planet Earth, we got to understand what happened to us. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it said in the future, it's going to happen if you don't listen to the words in this Bible. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he said, if you don't observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, you understand that? That means his laws. The things that he says thou shalt do and the things that thou shalt not do. One of the things he said that what? The blacks and Hispanics should not be eating pork. That's the commandment. God said we shouldn't do. But guess what our brothers and sisters do? They eat that swine anyway. Especially the Hispanic brothers and sisters, because we don't follow God laws. You hear that? So do you eat pork? Okay, shrimp, crab, lobster? Okay, you don't eat, that's good. What about you keep Sabbath day holy? Shrimp mm. oak. Shrimp oak, shrimp oak. You keep Sabbath day holy? I try to. You try to? Oh, so you know, you know some things then. I try to. So what, you know you an Israelite? Saturday, Saturday. Right, so you know you an Israelite already. You, you, you're getting into it. How long you been, who you were following and how long you been uh, studying? Man, I listen to a lot of different books. Right. Uh, how, long you, how long you been knowing you was Israel? How long you been studying? I ain't been studying. That's the thing. Like my cousin, Johnny, he put that shit in my head. Okay. All praise. Right, right, right. You getting in tune? How long you been getting in tune? Three months? Let me show you something. Give me that in Ephesians. Uh, toss two and fro. What is that? Two and twelve? Four and fourteen? Ephesians 1, 14. I want to show you something. Let me, let me show you what God said. Because, read that when you got it. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. That we, his book, be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. That we, his book, be no more children tossed to and fro. So this is the most that guy he said, we be no more tossed to and fro. You know, you understand what that means? Yah, Yahweh. Okay, so I, we speak in a form where our people can understand. Some in Yahweh, they say that's the Hebrew name. First, you gotta understand the pure Hebrew is not even on the is not even on the earth right now anymore. The pure language of Hebrew, the dialect that our forefathers spoke back in these times, is not here on the earth no more. So what I want you to understand, the Hebrew that's spoken in today is uh, made up uh, by a Edomite by the name of. Uh, what's the Edomite name? Eliezer ben Yehuda. He's an Edomite. He's a so-called white man. He, he's called Yiddish. That's not the real Hebrew. So when you even are dealing with the real Hebrew, I mean, excuse me, even with dealing with Hebrews, some people like to call him Yahweh. That's fine. But we just speak in the terminology where you can understand. Because that's, that's what we commanded to do. You understand? You call him Yahweh. You call him Yah. You call him Yahweh. Whatever you feel comfortable with calling him. But we want you to understand the more important message behind Yah. We want you to understand the message behind Yahweh. What you call him? Yah. We want you to understand Yah's message. You understand? Yah wants you to keep his commandments. You understand that? Where are we at? Read it again. That we his fourth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine 
by the slate of men uh -huh. and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. You hear what y'all said? Read it again. That we his forth be no more children tossed to and fro. So we, are, the blacks and Hispanic men have a, a lot of us, most of us have the mindset of a child. Why? Because we toss to and fro. By every wind of doctrine that comes, you got Muslim, a lot of our brothers in that foolishness. You got Catholicism, a lot of our brothers in that foolishness. You got Christianity, a lot of our brothers in that foolishness, okay? So those are all got different doctrines up under it. God said, don't be tossed to and fro with all that foolishness. Because if you continue to walk like that, you have a state of a mind, you have a, a, a mind, a state of a child. That's why we can't rise above the madness that we're in because we have childlike mentality. We have childlike behavior because we still toss to and fro. Read. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. Uh -huh. By the slate of men. By who? By the slate of men. Ben, Eliezer, Eliezer ben Yehuda in that language he came up with. That is a man-made language. Islam is a man-made tradition. Catholicism is a man-made tradition. Christianity is a man-made tradition. That's right. These things, God said, don't deal with them. Because if you continue to deal with them, you're going to have childlike mindsets. That's right. You're going to have childlike behavior. That's why when we come out here telling the truth, our people walk to and fro, they laugh, they smile. Some of, some of you mock at us. But what we're doing is coming out here with the words of God and the understanding of how to build the nation up. This is what men do. That's right. But if you don't do this, God called you a child in a mind. You might be 50 years old, but you still had a mindset of a child because you're not keeping the commandments. Because you're not coming under one banner, under one true God, the God or the Yah of the heaven and the earth. You're still in Catholicism. You have a childlike mind. That's why you can't build. The whole earth was given to the blacks and Hispanics. That's but right. we can't take it back because we have a childlike mind. We have to be tossed to and fro. Like God said, he said, don't do that. Read it again. That we henceforth be no more children. Uh -huh. Toss to and fro, Come on. and carry the bell with every wind of doctrine. And that's go ahead. By the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And they've been lying and waiting and deceiving you blacks and Hispanics since 1492. So for you, the 1619, the transatlantic slave trade, they've been deceiving us since we got off the boats. After they took the land from our brothers and Hispanic over here, they took the land, forced Catholicism on them, forced Spanish on them, and deceived them, and still deceiving them to this very day. But they, they, nobody cares. You understand? Look at what the sister, look at what the sister got in her hand right there. What is that? That's some, that's some foolishness. I guarantee you that is to no avail. I guarantee you whatever she's got coming with is not biblical. You understand that? And that is the deceitfulness that they are lying and waiting to do because our people are simple as hell. We are simple-minded people. You understand that? But we have to come back to the knowledge of God and come and take back the earth with okay. righteousness. Okay. God said he's looking for men like you to stand up. Give me that Psalm 64. God said he wants you to understand this. What now? God wants you to understand this right here, right now, this day. Read. This is what God wants you to know. Boy, this is the question. Better yet, God got you out. The book of Psalm, chapter 94 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? You hear what God said? That's a question to you right now, Al. He said, who's going to rise up for me against all this evilness that's going on on the earth? The earth is given into the hand of a wicked. That's right. The wicked man and the powers that be rule the planet earth right now. But God said, you know what? I'm going to take you base people and raise you up and take over the land from this wicked nation. But it starts with you. He's asking right now, Al, who's going to rise up for him? Who's going to rise up for the drug dealing in the community, Al, and take back that community? Who's going to rise up against the raping, the robbing, the murder, the stealing, the hatred right. that we have for one another? God said, who's going to rise up for that? You understand that, Al? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up for me against the people who perpetuate the evilness? You understand that, my brother? Hey, brother, you got to get in tune, brother. Hey, hey, Joe, get him to subscribe.
Hey, get him to, hey, my brother with the head on, come check it out. Check me out, bro. Hey, read it, read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Uh -huh. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So this is a question God got for you, Hispanic man. Which one of you Hispanic men gonna stand up and take back your community? Which one of you Hispanic men is gonna step up and put your household in order? Bring it out. The woman shouldn't be leading you, brother. You are a god on the earth. That's you, right. You're supposed to lead your wife. You are supposed to lead your woman, not her lead you. I see that a lot with our Hispanic brothers. The women are in control. The women are in control in your household. That is out of order with God. Give me the order. Who gonna take back his household first and foremost? Let's start there. Because if you can't take back your house with one little bitty woman, you damn sure can't take back the earth. Read. The book of First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Come on. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. Who is the head of the woman? Is the man. You had out of Hispanic brothers? You are the head of your woman. That's right. God created it that way. God ordained it from the beginning. You are the head, not the other way around. Your wife should not be commanding you in the household, telling you what to do. You hear that black man? Read it again. Hispanic man, read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Read it again from the top. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of you blacks and Hispanics is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, read. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh-oh, a lot of y'all sisters don't like that. Wait, wait, what happened? Babylon, I gave you brothers and sisters, well, you sisters, the liberty to rule over your manhood, your man in the house. Right. And a lot of y'all like that little authority that Satan gave you. Right. That's, that's the same spirit from the Garden with Eve, read. And the head of Christ is God. Uh -huh. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Y'all hear the words of the God? You Hispanic man, you ought to lead your household. Take back your households, Hispanic man, and stop letting your woman rule you. Chief. Stop letting your kids rule you. You understand that? You are the God in your household. You are the Lord in your household. The term Lord just means head. You are the head of your household. It's time for you to start walking like that. You are God on this earth. That's right. The earth was made for you to rule it, but you can't rule it and take it over if you can't control your household. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 